So I have been watching Dolly Vision for the last couple days, standing, sitting on the edge of my seat, watching some of the stuff. Like he, to me, is hilarious. He keeps me laughing nonstop, especially the way he is. So, you know, he's, he's able to put visuals in your head, you know, like when the dogs were coming down, you know, embarking, and it's a beagle. Uh, the dogs are really nice. I, I don't know why he would run from them, but apparently he got spooked, <laughs> spooked by them and uh, decided to run. <laughs> but, you know, I, I listen to him very intently because, you know, he's out there. I want to get his, you know, trying to gauge what his, um, you know, first impressions are of the area. And it's kind of weird because I think out of all the people on YouTube that have actually gone out and viewed and laid eyes on 110 Ben Hill Road, I always talk about that feeling you get, you know, if you're in touch with your feelings. And, and, and apparently, you know, I don't think guys are as in tune to their bodies as women. And so hearing, and I could be wrong, I'm not trying to be sexist or anything like that, you know, but, um, you know, I try, I, I, I feel something every time I go there. And I know when Justice for All went out there and when uh, Stit Has the Soup went out there and when, you know, White Rabbit went out there, as well as myself, you know, we always talk about uh, this this feeling, you know, this, this it's almost depressing, but you feel it. You, you have this feeling that something happened on that hill. You literally feel evil coming from that hill. And it, it's crazy to hear yet another person that's gone out there and visit have that same feeling, you know, the same feeling that many of us that have taken the time to go out there have had. Um, another weird feeling is the feeling you get when you're at that water hole. What I would have really liked uh, from um, Dolly Vision when he was out there is to show you how far away the place that she was swimming from where they stated that they were all standing watching Facebook and YouTube. It is a far distance away from where she was, you know, where Summer was. And so, you know, it's all about piecing these little pieces of the puzzle together and formulating an opinion of what you think happened. And, and that's, you know, we now uh, when we all out there do the same thing. And it's, it's, it's really crazy. And to hear him that he got a chance to talk to the neighbor out there, you know, he described, I, I tried to explain to him, I was chatting with him on Messenger, and I tried to explain to him, you know, that the people truly are nice out there. If you're out there, they literally will pull over and talk to you. Everybody out there uh, wants answers to this little baby girl's disappearance. And so it was it was nice to hear him say, you know, for pretty much the same thing. The people out there are great. It's not what some people on YouTube try to make the area out there to be, you know, uh, shoot first, ask questions later. It's just not like that. It's not the wild, wild west out there, folks. It just isn't. These are, you know normal people that have families. They just live in a country lifestyle and they have a um, appetite for, you know, a little more wilderness than some of the other folks do.